All right, let's do this. I passed the OSCP. I passed it a couple of weeks ago. Um, first video uploaded, uh, the audio was messed up. So if you saw some of that and you're watching this now, sorry. Um, anyway, I passed the pin 200, the OSCP, got the OSCP plus. I know that you can do it too um, because I didn't do anything special. And uh, I don't know, you probably won't have to either. I can show you exactly what I did. I'm just gonna kinda cut to the chase and try and um, be as transparent as possible. So I went through TJ Knoll's list. Um, it was, you know, the repetition that I needed uh, to solidify everything that you needed to learn. Um, and I started with TJ Knoll's prior to uh, the I started it before I even paid for the OSCP, and I did that because OSCP is ungodly expensive. It's just way too much freaking money. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I <laughs> I had uh, all of the preparation um, done before I even came into it. Um, and that's a little bit easier said than done. Um, and I say that because I already had... Uh, I've already taken, like, the um, TCM Securities... Um, their junior network pen tester and their um, their associate level and their practitioner level pen tester course, and I've also taken their um, junior or associate and um, practitioner level web application courses um, examinations, and I've passed those. Uh, so I guess you could say that like. I should pass anyway. Um, they're completely different exams, though. They have different styles. TCM um, was harder in its own way, and the OSCP was harder in its own way. Um, you could compare them, but you would be wrong in your comparison because they are different exams, and they test different types of skills. Um, so I will say that most of these uh, commands, most of this information in my notes came from the... Um, PNTP, PMPT, PJPT, uh, uh, whatever they they change the names of their their certifications, um, and then there are some up here that did come from uh, OFSEC, primarily related to macros and uh, Windows library files um, and hosting them. Um, pretty much everything else came from PMPT, um, although I did, during the OSCP, I did kind of like round out these notes. I added more information about um, privilege escalation for Windows, um, specifically like tools that I'm using. So if I see SE impersonate when I'm doing who am I slash all or who am I slash priv, I know that I need to either copy over print spoofer.exe, I need to copy over one of the potato attacks. Um, I was I had most success with Juicy Potato and G um, during all of those practices that I had done. Um, it was just very consistent. Um, and I have that. I started to make lists for like all of these privileges. So uh, if I'm seeing SE backup privilege, uh, we're going to dump the uh, copy. We're going to save. We're going to copy. We're going to dump the SAM and system hives um, in most cases. And then we'll copy those over either over uh, if we have WinRM access, then we'll even WinRM access. We'll just download, um, you know, the system and SAM files. If we don't, then we'll copy them over um, and pack its SMB server, um, and then just you know dump out the creds with secret stump from Impacket. Uh, if it's a domain machine, um, we'll end up doing it this method um, to dump ntds.dit. Um, if we see SE take ownership privilege, we're working out, or, you know, we're doing these things. So depending on what it was that I'm seeing, I have my own personal notes, my own instructions with screenshots. Um, and that's, you know, what really helps to like, okay, so you've ingested the content by doing the thing. You've ingested the content by reading walkthroughs. You've ingested the content by watching um, videos on YouTube. You've been, and then you've, you've done it again by writing it in your notes. You're trying to solidify these things, these principles that you're learning, these techniques that you're learning, these tools that you're learning. 
Um, and the wonderful thing about doing this mini machine, so all of Hack the Box, all of Proving Grounds Practice Labs, and all of Proving Grounds Play, the wonderful thing about that is that you get to see a lot of attacks, a lot of techniques, and a lot of them overlap. And um, it's it's kind of kind of good that they overlap. They overlap in like subtle ways for the most part, right? Like these machines do have some things that are common in them. Um, and when you go off to the OSCP, you're going to recognize that it also has some things that are that 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 uh, are 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 common that you've seen in these machines that you've done. Um, if you don't have the money to pay for both Hack the Box and Proving Grounds Practice, I would say pay for Proving Grounds Practice because these boxes are most like the OSCP. They're made by Offsec. It's their content. Of course, it's going to be most like OSCP. The Proving Grounds Play Labs, they are free. I want to say you just sign up. Um, on the website, and then you go and you um, you can do them with the VPN file. Um, but yeah, if you can only pay for one, pay for pay for Proving Grounds Practice. If you can pay for both, I would say start with Hack the Box. Pay for your you know however long it takes you to work through all these machines, um, and you know don't just like go through them. Once you've gone through them on your own, or you've used a walkthrough to kind of go through them, look at additional walkthroughs. Look at so many walkthroughs. Um, for all of these, like, let's see, Hack the Box Jeeves, I don't know why I, I did that, but I don't know why I copied it, um, walkthrough, OXDF, there we go, where is he, OXDF is great, um, uh, we can watch, of course, we have IPSEC, um, there are other people, like this guy, O Goose, O X Goose, and um, you know, don't just look at one walkthrough. And so now, not only have you gone through the box, you've looked at uh, the Hack the Box walkthrough, you've looked at these walkthroughs, you've watched the um, video for how uh, Ipsec went through the video, you've watched, um, you know, you, you've you've gone through it yourself, you've taken notes on the box, you've done entire let's see let's get out of this so i'll try to uh, make this bigger okay so these are and this is not all of them these are my try hacking machines i've done um, walkthroughs on each one of them here's my hack the box we open this up we'll see let's see let's see we've in game we've completed um look at this I mean, these are notes on every single one of them, details about how I've done them. Uh, these are the end games, not worried about that. Uh, Proving Grounds Practice Labs. Look at this. All of these are completed. Gone through every single one of them, completed them, we've got notes on them. So even during the exam, you know, when you're going through, not only do you have these notes that you've taken, but you, you also have examples from every single one of these machines that you've gone through. And that's that's also really important because you can go back through this huge catalog um, of things that you've done and and, and are very helpful. <laughs> I can tell you they are extremely helpful. Um, if you're like me, you may end up doing something like this uh, where I created a YouTube channel and I started to record them all. So not only was I getting all of the practice, um, I'm going through the boxes, looking at the walkthroughs, making sure that I'm taking notes, adding a separate set of notes. I'm also reinforcing this learning by going through and creating videos. Um, unfortunately, I had to private them all because it is uh, apparently against their TOS, terms of service. Um, but, it doesn't necessarily mean anything um, because, you know, if you're recording yourself and you're trying to teach someone, even if you're pretending to teach someone, um, you're saying it out loud, you're reinforcing, and um, it's very helpful, particularly, like, if we look at all of these, I've done so, 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 so many of these, um, but I hadn't, didn't have to private all of them, like, all of the Hack the Box machines, they can remain public, so you, you're still getting this experience um, you know, and I, a majority of the time I did my notes in the same, at the same time I was doing the walkthroughs, at the same time I was like 
going through the machines. Most of the machines I was going through blind. There are some of them that I didn't go through blind, and that's because um, I didn't feel like recording and putting on. I just wanted to sit there and like dig deep into the box and, and see how fast I could get through it. Um, and then let's go to the next page. Um, see, yeah, okay, so that's where it ends. That's where it ends. That's actually all of them. But it's 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 repetition, truthfully. That is damn near the only thing that you're going to need. Now, again, I did all of these before I ever started taking the OSCP. That may not work for you. You may do it the opposite way. You may go through the Pin 200 content, um, and you're taking notes, and you're using their notes. That's excellent. You can still do that. Again, a lot of these things overlapped. Um, like they they i mean they're going to teach you most of this not all of this not all of these commands but they're going to teach you a lot of them and then as you go through all of those machines you will start to build up uh, more and more and more notes on um all of this <laughs> really so you know no matter how you do it there's not a wrong way as long as you're doing it as long as you're going in you're digging deep and you're continuing to yourself uh, through the paces um, I did uh, but between when I failed on my first attempt when I got 60 points in this time I I t actually took a break from uh, like all of that stuff so here's what I did and I did two months of OCP I went through all of the OCP content in two months um, several months before that I had gone through all of the uh, TJ Knowles list um, in December, I, after I had failed um, with 60 points, I took uh, a break from like OSCP type stuff, and I just wanted to just like take a break and have fun. So I went through the um, Advent of Cyber and all of the Cyber Side Quest stuff, um, and that was you know a really great uh, transition. And then in January, when I could take the test exam again, like the week. Um, before I actually went to take the exam, I started again heavy on the machines, and I just took notes. I just I just went through and took notes, and I tried to do as many in a day as I possibly could, and I did that because, um, you know, I had the experience of like you need to manage your time better, and you're gonna have to make it through multiple machines. Um, so you know you might as well try to. You might as well try to. Uh, go through it. Go through as many as you can in a single day. Once you've kind of like gone through and I don't know, like perfected your methodology, um, or at least created one, like you have an idea of what you're going to do, um, you know, starting from your initial scanning um, and enumeration phase to like initial access to uh, when you when you've gotten on there and you're trying to escalate your privileges or when you're trying to to move laterally so that you can um, escalate your privileges after the fact. And again, all of that's going to be through repetition. Make sure that you're going through these courses. CJ Nodes is not the only list. I've heard about others. Um, it's just happened to be what I use, so I won't keep you any longer. I uh, I pass the OSCP and uh, <laughs> I pass the OSCP and you can too. I know you can because I did and I didn't do anything special other than Put in a little bit of effort, put in some time, and uh, that's, it. that's it. See you. You can do it. I believe in you. Bye.